In this video, I'll break down some really cool music video effects in Final Cut Pro. Now, some of the effects, I will use some of my own plugins from my store, WinkinsMedia.com. The link is down in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase any of my plugins. But in this video, I'll just break down some really cool visual effects. The first effect is this really cool, like, collage effect. So I have this clip right here that I'll be using, applying the magnetic mask effect to, and all these clips are from the 21 Savage uh, Central C music video. So I'm going to go ahead and use this clip first. So let's head over here to the effects panels. I'm going to scroll down until I find the category masks and keying. I'm going to go ahead and apply the magnetic mask onto this clip. Now the magnetic mask is basically just rotoscoping for Final Cut. So selecting this clip, I'm going to go ahead and just select on this subject. So as you can see, and then we'll go to select a little bit right here and go forward and see if it's going to go off track a little bit. So let's see right there. So you can go ahead and kind of just make the selection and now we can go ahead and you can use the brush tool to like add more to the mass, subtract, and so on and so forth. But I think right now this selection is good enough. So let's go ahead and click on analyze. And now Final Cut is going to do its best to analyze the clip. Then we can go to the playhead as you see, it's doing a really good job. So maybe let's say right here. So let's go ahead and add a little more to the actual mask. And now let's go ahead and click on analyze. We want to make sure it's completely tracked. And I think that looks really good. So as you see, there we go, the subject is completely tracked. Now what we can do is just click on done. So click on right here, and there you go. Now this subject is completely masked out. You can also adjust the feather too. So let's say you want to feather it in just a little bit because we want the edges to be a little bit uh, softer. It's uh, you know completely up to you. Now we can go ahead and right click and just click hide magnetic mask editor. Now what we're gonna do is gonna have these two clips. These are the clips that we want to have like behind the magnetic mask. So I'm gonna head over here to titles and generators. I'm gonna find the category film matte overlays. Now this is a pack that is for sale on my website. You don't necessarily have to use this for this effect, but it just makes it a lot easier. So let's say just go ahead and apply the double two and place it onto these two clips right here. And let's go ahead and just trim the actual film matte overlay. Now we can go through and select uh, this clip. And we want to just move it into position. So let's say we want the first clip right here. Now we go ahead and just trim the clip. So that looks pretty good. We adjust it a little more. Now we can select on this clip and take the position and move it into kind of the place we want. So let's say something like that looks good. Selecting the film matte overlay, we can actually just change the color. So let's say we want to change the color to like a black. So we have that really cool like black outline. Now you want to do is take the magnetic mask clip and then just place it above uh, the clip and as you can see there you go. Now you have this really cool like uh, collage effect. Now you can select on this magnetic mask and you can take the position and you can drag it to kind of get it. Say we want to move it over here so you see you really you can customize it so there we go. And now you have a really cool like collage effect that we can go ahead and play it right here. You have this really cool collage effect with this subject cut out and then you have this like film matte overlays in the back. Background. The next effect I'm going to go over is this really cool like liquid explosion effect. So this is a clip they want to use. Let's select on this and hold down the option key to duplicate the clip. Now let's go ahead and just disable the bottom clip because we only want to affect the top clip right now. So let's go ahead and head over the clip right here and let's say something like this. Now let's go ahead and apply the magnetic mask again. So apply it onto this clip right here. Then we can go ahead and just select on the subject. So as you can see, there you go. Now I'm going to rush this process a little bit just for the sake of the tutorial. So let's say we want to get rid of this. So let's zoom in to like 200%. And now we kind of want to just do a very rough job. Let's go ahead and let's use the brush tool right here. As you can see, now we can kind of paint along right here. So let's say we want to remove this part. Now I'm not going to do a perfect job because I'm going to kind of rush it just for the sake of the tutorial. But as you can see, you want to go through and really refine it. So as you can see, that looks really good. Now we can head over here and let's say we want to remove this part right here. You can also head over here to the plus tool and add more to the mask if you want to. And the, the important thing is you really want to make sure the first selection is really good because Final Cut does a really good job of guessing what you want. So let's go over here and we want to maybe remove this over here just a little bit. Actually, we go to the subtraction tool and we want to remove this part right here. And I think that looks good. Again, I'm rushing it just for the sake of the tutorial, but you want to go through and really, you know, refine it and make sure everything is, you know, all, all those edges are completely like removed. So let's go ahead and click on analyze and let's go and see. And now Final Cut is doing a really good job of kind of guessing 
focusing where we want. So you see, it, you, as you see, see how Final Cut just completely like guessed that. That's just how good this magnetic mask tool is. So there you go. I think that looks pretty good. Again, just just for the sake of the tutorial, that's good enough. And now we can go ahead and click on done. And now we have the subject completely isolated. Now we can go ahead and hide the magnetic mask editor. So there we go. We have the subject isolated. Now let's enable the bottom clip. And now we want to apply these really cool like liquid distortion effects. So let's just disable the top clip right now, just so we can see what we're doing. Now head over here to the effects panel and you want to find the category distortion so we can scroll down till we find distortion. Now the first effect you want to apply is the underwater effect so apply that onto the clip. Now what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and take the size, decrease the size and then decrease the speed to however you want. So let's just decrease the size and speed a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Now what you want to do is you want to take the refraction and bring it all the way down place a keyframe, now go to the end of the clip or wherever you want the effect to stop. Let's go back one frame and take the refraction and turn it and turn the, and turn the refraction all the way up. So we can go something like really like 270 or something. So as you can see, if we play the clip, you have this really cool like distortion effect. So let's go ahead and kind of see what it looks like. So the beginning, there's no distortion and then you see you have this really cool distortion effect. Now let's head over here to the effects panels and scroll down. And once you scroll up, you want to find the, the other effect, droplet. So apply the droplet effect onto your actual clip. Now we can go through and adjust different stuff. So let's take the intensity, increase the intensity. And what we we'll would do is let's go to like 50%. And we want to move this kind of in the center. And now what you want to do is you want to select on this and you want to take the radius and you bring the radius down and you want to bring the thickness down so all the way down to zero now place a keyframe on both of these go to the end of the clip go back one frame and now what you want to do is you want to increase the radius so we can increase the radius also increasing the thickness so we want to increase the thickness and let's say something like 180 and now you want to make sure as you see now you want this completely to go out off the frame and there you go now we can go back to fit and now you have this really cool effect so we kind of go frame by frame you have this really cool like liquid distortion effect and now let's go ahead and enable the top clip so we can kind of get a good idea of what this is going to look like so if we play it right here now you have this really cool like liquid distortion effect happening behind the subject now the next effect is this really cool like paper collage effect so again select on this clip hold down the option key to duplicate the clip head over here to the effects panels and again we want to find the category uh, mass and keying and we want to take the magnetic mask and apply it onto this top clip uh, right here let's go ahead and just select on the subject and we can go ahead and be a and enable a little more of the mask I think that looks pretty good and then click on analyze and now Final Cut is going to analyze the subject and then click on done. Now what I did in the beginning, so if I go ahead and just right click hide magnetic mask, select this one. I actually went over here and added um, a color board. So click on new color board and then take the saturation and I just decrease the saturation. So there you go. You, get, you can have a really cool like color isolation effect. That's kind of what I did. Now what we're going to do is we want to add some photos. So let's just say let's take this photo, uh, click on E and then take this photo and then click on E. This will just bring it to the end of the actual timeline. Now we can select on these and let's just set the duration. So we can select on these and click on Control D and let's do something like nine frames. And there you go. Now we just set the photos to nine frames. So obviously you can set it to however long you actually want. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to the titles and generators and you want to purchase the creator bundle. That will give you this really cool paper rip overlay effect. So we can just drag it on to the actual photos and now let's go ahead and just use the cut tool, the cut tool and the trim tool to kind of get them to be you know, over top the photos. Now what you want to do is you want to select on it. You can head over here and you can actually change them. So let's say you want to change it to paper rip 8. Now what you want to do is head back over to the video inspector, take it to the blend mode and then click on stencil alpha now you want to actually now, now you want to duplicate this paper up overlay we want to select the bottom two right here and click on like option G we want to create a compound clip we can just call this one one you know obviously I'm just naming whatever I want so we want to create a compound clip now select on this one and you want to change this blend mode over to screen so now you have a really cool paper up overlay and now we can go ahead and select both of these and click on option G and we'll call this one 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 you know obviously whatever you want and there you go now it's into a compound clip Thank you.
Now we can select on this paper overlay, go over here, same steps, stencil alpha, and you can go ahead and change the different paper if you want. So let's say we want a different one. Let's say paper 10, that's the one that we want. Now you want to take this, hold down the option key to duplicate it, select these two and click on option G, we'll just call this 22, and there you go. Now you want to select on this one right here, and head over to the video inspector and change the blend mode over to screen. And now you can select on these again and click on option G and we'll just call this 222, you obviously whatever you want. And there you go, now it's into a compound clip. Now we can go ahead and select on this and then place it over here. So we can go ahead and place it behind the clips. You could have them overlapping if you want. So there you go. Now if I go to the beginning of the clip, you have this really cool like paper collage. So there you go, see how, see how like if I go frame by frame, you kind of have these paper ups kind of like appearing behind the sub Subject, and there you go and then that the one will just disappear and then you can kind of just keep keep repeating those steps to get the look that you want but there you go there's that really cool like paper collage effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to purchase any of the plugins that I used in this video it's it will be for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com and if you enjoy these types of videos make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button I'll see you in the next one peace